keep on playing with me. So sad, KKK, KKK. Young nigga, I got old cash spazzing on the ass. I got product on my whole ass. Man, what's going on, man? It's your man C to the J to the C, and I'm uh, y'all already know why we be though. Like, subscribe, and comment. And if y'all new to the channel, welcome to the channel where I provide the best story times on YouTube. I said, because Olivia Caratana, they don't have nothing on me. Nikki Glamour, I'm calling all of them out. Who want fire, bro? Like you ain't you ain't ready. I got the best story times on YouTube. Check my story time playlist and tell me otherwise. Playlist story time. Check it out on my channel. Y'all already know how it is. C to J to the C, straight from the 305 Miami Dade County. But I live in Orlando because I moved here for college. Graduated college last year, December 2018. Congrats to me, uh, BA in business administration. Y'all already know integrated business to be a fact from University of Central Florida. All right, all right. Well, we back and we gonna go straight to the story time. We ain't gonna waste it. No time to converse numbers with the old Western. Like y'all already know. So today's story time, we gonna talk about. P-O-F, Plenty of Fish is the app. Y'all know the dating app. Stop playing with me. Don't even say y'all don't know it. Stop playing. Y'all know Tinder. Y'all know Bumble. So y'all asses know P-O-F. And y'all know what P-O-F is basically known for. The suspect shit. The suspect shit. So I'm going to tell y'all what happened to me. And it ain't going to happen again. <laughs> what the fuck? No, all right. So here's what happened, bro. I go to sleep. All right. So... I'm going through Tinder, swiping, doing my thing, doing my thing, swiping, 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 swiping. And it's like, I'm looking for a girlfriend, but I know girls don't like basically like niggas with no cars. I don't have a car. I'm not in the financial state to get a car yet. So I take bus, I walk. It's all good. We all start off somewhere. We all didn't like start off with a car. We have to build our way. I'm going to get a car someday, but for now, I have a car. The, said the reason I don't have a girlfriend. So when you go on these dating apps, you want to say I'm looking for a girlfriend, but we know once they say, say you say you don't got a car, it's rare. It's super rare. Don't even play with me. It's super rare you find a girl that's okay with you not having a car. That's like, that's like dinosaur rare. <laughs> dinosaur exists, and that's what I'm trying to say. It kind of don't exist unless you're in a other country where y'all just, cars are not a necessity. But um, but in America, if you don't got a car, it's a no for some for most female. Ninety percent, like more than ninety, like ninety eight or like ninety seven. The three percent is rare. So um, like I said, like um, I'm going like uh, I'm going through Tinder, swiping, doing my thing, going through Bumble. I found about Bumble with the DJ Khaled. Shout out to DJ Khaled. I used to watch this. His, his, his Snapchat religiously. Now I don't, but you know, the beginning days when he was on one, like say another one, another one, or, 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 or lion, lion, like, you know, the lion shit he used to do. <laughs> Every day I'm looking at his DJ Kai Snapchat. And then one day it was nighttime and him and Free was cooking his friend up and he was on Bumble. I was like, what the hell is that? And it looked like a great app. I, I ever since I had Bumble. So I'll just be swiping through. Like I said, you want to say you want looking for a girlfriend, but you know, they respond once you say you don't got a car. So you got to be that bad guy that you really know you're not. So I basically put in the description, I'll be like, um, I'm just I'm just here for fun. Like basically down to DTF, all that shit. Even though I'm not that type of guy, but you got to put that. Because when I tell you guys I don't got a car, you're going to be like, so shut the F up. Don't judge me. Please don't judge me. And I won't judge you. And let it be beautiful. All right, yeah. So, so, so. So, uh, all right, so, so I'm swiping through um, Twitter, I'm, snap, I'm swiping through Bumble, yeah, just basically going through all the things like that. So then I went to POF, I already used POF, I'd be like that, because I know some, most of my homeboys um, basically um, fucks um, some uh, bad bitches like on POF. Sorry, girls. I respect um, girls too much to be saying that. Like, that was so hard for me to say. Like, this is hard for me to F word. You know people that say on regularly because they say so natural. But me, also, how like, hesitate what for me to say bad, you know. So, um, so yeah, I went to POF. And then I was, like, doing like that. Then a girl messaged me. She's like, hey. And I was like, hey, what's going on? We talk. We vibing. We chilling. Things like that. And then she was like, oh, you want to, um, um, or what you doing? And then, like, I said, 
just sitting in my car, in my bed, horny, lazy. And she was like, for real? And she was like, yeah. And, she said, and then I was like, I was like, um, you want to chill? Well, y'all know what you want to chill me. I was like, you want to chill? She like that. No response. When I say her, you want to chill, it was like probably 1230 a.m. in the morning. And I'm waiting. I wait for that response. 115, I was sleepy, bro. So I, I went to sleep. I fell asleep. That's what happened. I fell asleep. And then um, when I fell asleep, yeah, I fell asleep. When I fell asleep, I fell asleep. So I fell asleep. I fell asleep. <laughs> yeah. So I fell asleep at 120 ish. And guess I woke up like 3 30, like 3 30. I was gone for nearly two over two hours. So I think I'm like, oh shit. I fell asleep with the phone like that. But good thing my phone didn't lose power because I had saving mode, power saving mode. So they probably lost 10%. So I was like probably at 78. So that's not bad. And I saw she messaged me. She messaged me like an hour and 30 minutes ago. I'm like, oh shit. And she asked said, um, she, she, she said, sure. I'm like, oh shit. So I messaged her. I see her still online. I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I went to sleep, things like that. So you want to chill? And she was like, and she said, yeah. He said, I was about to like, deal. I was like, oh, no problem. I said, where you live? And he said, um, let me see a picture of your D. <laughs> Y'all know I mean my D. Let me see a picture of your D. And then I'm like, Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, so I'm like, I'm not dick. <laughs> like, yeah, picture of your dick. So I'm like, um, I'm like, um, I wasn't sure, but I'm not those type of niggas that send pictures. Like I say, I'll, I'm barely the type of nigga that's down to F. I only do that because I don't have a car. And I know what girls say that. So when she said that, I'm like, oh shit. And I had to do the gay. Remember, if you gay, it's all good. We vibing. We chilling. You gay, that's your business. Why am I going to be mad over gay people? Why would I want to be a homophobic and be like, you gay? You're not supposed to be gay. You gay, you gay. But I'm saying, like, basically, like, I'm not gay. So I was like, I was about to do the no offense of gay people. Y'all know I'm not trying to think. Y'all. I'm keep out to explain myself. <laughs> so I say I was about to do the gayest shit ever. And basically, like, um, so I went on Google. <laughs> I went on Google, though, right? So, yeah, I went on Google, though, right? And then I searched black guys' dicks. Oh, my, bro. Like, oh, shit, because I ain't want to see my shit at all, bro. Like, that's the gayest shit ever. And I said black guys' like, dicks, like, like black guys' big dicks. That's why I put, like, oh, shit. Like, bro, what the fuck type of gay? Bruh, like, no offense, like, y'all know, bruh. So then I saved one of the pictures to my phone, and then I sent it to her. I'm like, bro, I can't like, I deleted that shit from my phone once I sent it to her. And she's like, oh, he said, it's really big. He said, what are you planning on doing with me? I said, fuck you real good. Fuck you me. <laughs> I'm not even that type of guy. Chill. Chill, though. Why we y'all got chill? So then... I go over. I'm like, uh, she said, she said, okay, here's my address. I'm like, oh shit, I'm vibing. I had money. I ordered lift. I put cologne, put so I was ready. I'll be out of there. And I was ready. Gone on the lift. Had my way. Then the book lift right. You look at Sassy. I'm about to like that. Fuck is a, a bad bitch. She bad, bro. You like for real? He's like, bro, we find a POL. He said, POL be suspect though. I said, I know, but bro, like there's a bad one though. He said, all right. Then he, he dropped me off. It was like a trailer park area. I'm like, what? In the middle of the night, remember, it's like 4, 4 a.m. in the morning. I'm like, oh, shit. In July. So then I text her and text her. I text her and be like, oh, I said, um, I I, th- I think I'm here. Like, where are you at? And she said, um, are you like a trade partner? I'm like, yeah. And he's like, she said, I got something to confess and tell you. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, what is it? And you said, let me, she said, let me call you. Call it. Then I'm going to do something and I'm going to explain y'all. Only the smart ones gonna understand why I did that. Bling. I was like, hello? And then she said, hello? I was like, yeah. I was like, I got something to tell you. I was like, what is it? And he said, I'm a man. Hello, are you still there? I was like, yeah, I'm, st- I'm still here. And he said, I'm a man. Like, uh, he said, yeah. I said, Oh, that's no problem. And she said, he, I said, she. He said, 
He said, so you good with that? I said, yeah. I said, so where you at? He said, oh, I'm in, um, I'm in, um, trailer 251. Go to that one, but try to be as quiet because my roommate's sleeping and it's super dark. Super dark, no lights. Try to be as quiet as you can when you walk in. I'm like, all right. And then I hung up. I hung up. I walked the other direction. I kept walking for the rest of the night. I walked fast. I ran a little, walked fast. And when I got super far, I or a lift, went home, got home and slept and things like that. Texting me saying, where you at, baby? Then I like you coming or you still there? Da 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 da. da. I'm looking at my phone like mm-hmm, da, da, da. keep out delete, delete. Went to POF. I went like mm-hmm, mm-hmm. block, block, and things like and it was just shit like that. And it just like like, bruh, now most of y'all saying, okay, like, why you didn't say fuck you and things like and all that shit? You got to understand, I'm in the middle of a trailer park area, not knowing the area as much. Person just told me, and he had girl pictures, like, uh, he had a girl picture on there, fine girl, so he must have been doing this for a minute. So if I said fuck you and things like that, like, I don't F with, 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 with niggas, fuck you, nigga, like that, and he... Saw he was threatening to basically his secret be revealed, and people you never know they could be like like the gentlest soul, but when shit get risky and shit on the line of a uh, secret for, of theirs being revealed, anything goes. He could have come out, start shooting at me, killed me, then done anything to keep that secret a secret. But so basically, I relaxed him. I put the tension down, and I said, "Oh, okay, I'm good with that." He said, "Really?" <sighs> CJ, good with that. Now I could be calm and not think, oh, this guy's about to run and go. And then I made him realize, like, I'm coming. I'm like, What's the room number? Like, That's even made you more calm. Like, oh, he really don't care. And bam. Bro, after that experience, I said, fuck POF for like six months. I got POF now in my eye. But now I'm way, I'm woke. Skype, you bet. I need proof, man. Like, Man, these girls, like, you could tell because the phone or add them on social media, like, you need to know, man, these shits. And that was the day, bro. Anything could happen. But you got to be smart and think about the situation. when, Because some people always like to react and act and not think and process. Thinking and process could save you a lot of time and even save your life. Think about it. But that's it for today, guys. It's your man C to the J to the C. Remember, check out my story time playlists, bro. It's a lot of stories, the best stories on YouTube that y'all didn't see yet. And I got stories that'll make y'all laugh, cry, or even feel me, bro. And then also, like, like, subscribe, and comment. Like, don't do one. Don't just comment. Like two and subscribe. Like, like the video so the video get attention. And the same way you enjoy, others can enjoy. Like, subscribe, and car, and, and, and subscribe and, and comment, and tell Olivia Car, tell Tana, tell Nikki Glamour, I'm coming for their positions. I'm the number one story time in in YouTube, and they gonna know it. It's your man C to J to the C, and I'm out. Be breezy.